All right, guys, go to Boy32 here, check it out. So we're sitting in the home away from home. I'm pretty excited about this because I'm going to set up a little studio with that sound foam insulation. And it's going to be really cool with the uh, review table as well as a place where you and I can chat and have fun. So we'll do tabletop reviews. When the snow melts, we'll go out and do some shooting. And then we can also keep up with the 2A news. And speaking of 2A news, I got an email from a gentleman named Kenneth that I thought was very, very cool, and I wanted to share that with you in this video. And it, and it revolves around the uh, HR-127, the most idiotic bill that it was ever written by an individual who has no idea what the hell they're talking about, but now I do, and I realize exactly where she got it from. This is an email that was sent to the channel by Kenneth, and he also, by the way, he's got a, a YouTube channel, and I'm going to put the link down below. Please do me a favor, go down and subscribe to him. Uh, pretty neat deal, out of Germany. All right, it says, hey there, I'm reaching out to you from Germany. Been watching some of your videos, especially about the HR-127 and similar ones. What I have understood until now about HR-127, it looks like 100% copy of the Euro gun ban we face and are still facing. Now, here are a couple bullet points that he talks about. The National Firearm Registration Database came from the EU. Number two, high capacity magazines, 10 rounds for rifle and 20 rounds for semi-automatic pistols came from the EU. But what they're trying to do here is they're trying to get rid of all, anything over 10 rounds. Psychological assessment, that one we dodged for now. So that was one of the neat things. I talked to a friend of mine who's a police officer uh, today, and he called me up. He goes, man, this stuff's going around, and people are freaking out because this it's uh, illegal. Half of the stuff is, 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 is unbelievable, and it's illegal. But you watch. These dumbasses will try to pass this stuff. Firearms must be locked away in a certified safe. Had that before the Eurogun ban, but that was pushed over and over the entire EU. I'm trying to make sense. They try to ban semi-automatic rifles like the AR platform constantly on the program. And that's a constant push. Oh, it's a weapon of war. Well, anything is a weapon of war, which is what they don't get, which is the interesting. Uh, the request to mandate smart guns came from the German government due to the lobbying of Armatex, Armatex and the manufacturer of the IP-1. Uh, from what I understand, he says down below that those companies are pretty much bankrupt unless they were being bankrolled by the government. Uh, let's see. Background checks up into the Office for Protection of the Constitution. Not sure what he means by there, but background checks up into the Office for the Protection of the Constitution. Here's the next one. All firearms have to be registered with the authorities and are noted in our, our firearm license, Waffenbesitzkart, short WBK. They have to be registered within a 14-day time frame after a purchase. And I guess there's a lot more. But in any case, this shit's really scary uh, that the people, Sheila Jackson Lee, can just jump on the board, Google the UEU gun ban, and, oh, that sounds like a great idea. And Mom does man action now, and I guess I guarantee Bloomsburg and every town for Newtown had a little bit to do with writing that entire thing, and they always do. The comparison to the British gun laws is always brought in, but doesn't work. Fact is that only bad enough specific firearms are banned. Crime has risen since the gun ban in 1996. So has also homicide cases. Armatex, okay, this is where he talks about this, is actually broke. Only kept alive by federal money and their CEO, Bernd Dieter that runs a big company for electronic lock systems. Germany doesn't have a Second Amendment. Isn't that the beauty of our country? We do have some protections. It's called the Second Amendment. And the Second Amendment is a God-given right that was given to you. It's just like freedom of speech, but they want to take that away from us with some kind of truth czar to try to decide what is feasible for you, the public, to listen to. That's the stuff that really chaps my rear end. Germany doesn't have a Second Amendment. Neither does Canada. And you see what that, that led to them. Talking about Canada, that jackass up there, Blair, the guy who is their safety director, he basically came out and said it. Owning a gun is a privilege, not a right. He's full of shit. Germany doesn't have a Second Amendment. And we are not granted a license to carry a firearm for self-defense. We are only allowed to own firearms for sport, hunting, or collecting. I think the Dems took the Euro gun ban as a blueprint to bring the force in sever gun control measures in the U.S. 
So anyway, Kenneth, thank you so much for reaching out to me and letting me know about this stuff. It just this is a this is a global thing. They want to make us a global. I don't know. Sit down and the the whole thing just irritates me. These individuals, they want to be globalist. They want to be socialist. And they think that this is a great idea. We, the people, control the government, not the government controlling the people. We've stated this before. Having the ability to protect your loved ones and your property is utmost. And also having the ability to protect yourself from a tyrannical government. Anyone who signs that many executive orders in such a short period of time and puts people out of work because he's trying to appease his Green New Deal people, that's a tyrant. And ladies and gentlemen, there will come a time when we will have to make a stand. I hope it's not in my lifetime, but I have to feel have a feeling that I don't want my children growing up just like they did down there in Venezuela. Take the guns now. Next thing you know, you're going to be fighting for that piece of toilet paper. Unbelievable. It's Coda Boy 32 Thank you, Kenneth. Please go down and subscribe to his channel down below. It's really neat. Uh, but here's the deal. Uh, the Second Amendment is our right given to us by our founding fathers and God. It is presented to us to prevent a government overtake. Kills me. Always end them like this. If you like the video... Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so, support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who will stand by us when the time comes to support our Constitution and our Bill of Rights as it was understood and written by our founding fathers. There is no misinterpretation there that shall not be infringed. If anything, do me a favor. Hashtag down below, shall not be infringed. Let's let them know. Let them know that there are people out there who truly care. Y'all be good. We're going to be having our uh, another... 10 to 12 inches of snow starting tonight. I need to go get some uh, baked chickens. <laughs> I'm out of here. Go to Boy 32. Yeah, y'all be good. Peace.